Hey guys, welcome back to another video in this C++ series. In the last one, we saw how to set up code blocks on Windows and Linux. So if you haven't watched that video, do check that out first. In this video, we will talk about compilers, what they are and how they work. But before that, let's talk a little bit about computers. So computers in general are pretty dumb devices until you tell them what to do. And telling a computer what to do is what is commonly known as programming. So to program a computer, you need a set of rules that the computer can understand. And this is what is commonly known as a programming language. Now the thing is, computers can only understand one language. And this language is called machine language. It is made up entirely of ones and zeros. And to write a program using machine language is super difficult. To put things in perspective, here is a site which converts a given C++ code into assembly language. And as you can see, even for a simple hello world program, the assembly code is so big and complicated. And note that this is not machine language. Assembly language is a little easier to read and write than machine language. So you can imagine how fun it might be to code in machine language. So to make lives of developers easier, many languages were and still are being invented. These languages are called high level languages. And some examples are C, 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 Sharp, Java, Python, Rust, and the list goes on. Now, writing code in these high level languages is much easier, but to actually run the code on a computer, it has to be again converted to a machine language. And this conversion of high level code to low level machine language is done by compilers. So, to put in short, Compiler is just another program which converts your code into machine language. Now languages like Python don't have a compiler, instead they use something known as an interpreter. But at the end, even code written in such languages has to be converted to machine language. Ok, so now that we understand what a compiler is, let's see it in action. For this, I'll first fire up my code blocks and then I'll create a new project. So this will be again a console project. It will use the C++ language and for project title I'll use compilers. And then I'll click next. All these options will be default. And there we go. We have our project ready. Now to show you what happens in the background when you build and run your code. Let's open up the directory where this project is located. For that I'll right click on this main.cpp and I'll select open containing folder this will open up the project directory where this file is located so to see both the windows side by side i'll stack them side by side as you can see right now this folder contains only two files one is the main.cpp which we have here and another one is a compiler.cbp which is a code blocks project file now if i go to build and select build and run our program will run and you can see that two new directories are created in our project directory. One is called bin and another one is called obj. Inside bin you'll find a debug folder and inside that you'll find the main executable called compilers.exe. If you are on Linux you will not have the exe extension but this will be the main executable that you can run. Now if we go back and check inside obj directory will find we again have a debug folder and inside that you can see we have a main.o file. So this is known as an object file and for every cpp file in your program you will get an object file. Since we only have a single cpp file we are getting this main.o. So you are seeing all these files and directories because the compiler operates in multiple stages. There are many stages in compiler but the two major ones are compiling and linking. Basically in compiling stage, compiler takes all your CPP files and compiles them into object files. After this, in linking stage all the object files are passed to linker, which is another program that converts all the object files into one executable. To see this step by step, let's delete both these folders. And now let's go to code blocks and under build tabs let's select compile current file. 
This will just execute the compilation stage and will generate only the object files. And as you can see in the project directory, we have this obj folder with main.o file. So now if you go back to build tab again and select build, it will execute the linking stage and you will get this bin directory inside which you will have this executable. So that was it for this video. All this compiling and linking can also be done using a command prompt or a terminal without code blocks. But I'll save that for some other video. So if you like this video hit that like button and consider subscribing for more such videos.